The other day I showed you this greenhouse and this hydroponic system and you saw it for just a little while and uh, it's maybe intricate to some people but um, I set this up and it can handle quite a few plants. Um, I'll plant tomatoes there and lettuce. It's uh, somewhat of a nursery at times but um, it's protected from the weather. You can see the top structure is a, a type of greenhouse material and there's times when you don't want the uh, the rain is brutal on certain types of plants. Your young lettuce plants can't take the beating of this heavy South Louisiana rain. So I've got this structure out here and um, I'm going to get a little bit closer to it and show you sort of how it works. Now you can see the way uh, the drain works we've got over here is your top section and your water comes in at the very top right here and it floods uh, this section of pipe and also this section we got some pipe tube coming in both of them you can see right here it comes in and then the drain all the way down there you see the turn it makes and it does the same thing now on this one it's a little bit different we operating with pipe right here that acts as a drain now it was just a, a matter of trying something different and you can see in here now it's a little bit dirty i need to get them leaves out of there Look at that, we don't need them leaves. But these are also some tomato plants I want to show you. These are rough looking because we was in the 30s last night. It's not tomato plant weather, but I took these cuttings off of some plants and they are gonna grow and turn into real tomato plants. You can see that they're trying to make some roots this one you see the little roots trying right here this is a cutting these are suckers and i topped the tomato plants and this is what i came up with look at the roots starting on that one these are just cuttings i don't buy tomato plants at the store unless i have to and these are about three years old that i've been working on the same tomato plants and look how run down they are. They're more run down plants. I'll take and I'll find a section. And well, somebody's got tomatoes on it. So I might have to do something about that tomato right there. So once I pick the tomato, I will cut it right here. That makes a plant. I trim the bottom leaves. This rough stuff here. That, uh, got disease or whatever I trim that off I trim the flowers off and then I'll put it in either some the rock material and set it in there and just let it soak in the same nutrient solution until it roots next thing you know I have tomato plants but I've been doing it a couple years now and I cut way back an amount of plants one of the benefits of doing it is you have a mature plant you're cloning the mother plant and so if it takes 45 days for it to produce fruit this plant right here is done uh, more than 45 days old already so it produces fruit a whole lot earlier so it is one of the advantages um, some plants you you may have to they may rot um, this is real early in the season so I might have to struggle with keeping them alive but it's just one of those chances that I take but uh, it makes a stronger and healthier plant once it takes off and it and it deals with this winter then I got a plant that can handle just about anything so this is one of the structures that I want to show you and you can see how many plants that it can handle I got these little covers that I put it's best to cover up your holes as much as possible to keep the leaves out so I do have that going on let me cover up this guy right here and 
but this is something else that I want to show you that works out real good and um, more hydroponics and we signing off hold on there's another tomato right there all right that's breakfast all right Cajun Calvin we'll talk to y'all later we're signing out bye now